So we've been busy shipping all the corn seed out. It's about the 26th of April now and um, all your corn seed should have been delivered to the farm. So the best thing to do is if you got any extras for the returns coming back what happened last year is that um, a lot of people brought some corn seed back two bags three bags four four bags back but the problem with it is is that it's been on your farm the cat's been running on it and it's it's quite contaminated so far as um, diseases and germs go as well too so we shipped it back we take it back in our warehouse we load it on a truck it goes to Ontario it stops four or five times along the way and so Hassett basically fined us about fifteen hundred dollars last year for returning too much corn seed and you can see their point because basically if there's IBR or there's um, brucellosis or something associated to one or two of those farms we now have brought it into our mill and that's contaminated the mill area now it's loaded on a truck and it makes five or six stops between here and Ontario loading up extra corn seed as well too and it becomes a major health concern so basically the way to get around that is um, I picked up one of these bins, you can pick them up either at Rona or Walmart or um, Home Depot has them as well too. And so these bins run about 20, 25 bucks. I loaded four bags of corn seed in, it comes with a real nice secure lid. You put the lid on it uh, once you're all done and you slap it shut and the rats and the mice can't get at it, the moisture stays out and it's perfectly good for next year. One recommendation I would probably make uh, in doing that is um, you take a felt pen and you basically put an X on the bag and the reason we want to do that for is because we want to use these bags up first next year. The germination on it is probably good for three or four years but if you mark an X on the bag then you know these are the first bags to go into the corn planter for the next year so makes it quite simple we avoid any disease transmission from farm to farm the store the corn stores very well in these plastic tote bins keeps the rats and the mice out and it's a way of basically um, keeping track of your inventory that stays on your farm so again you can pick these bins up at any of the um, Home Depot, Walmart, or Rona, they all have them. Um, we'll show a slide on what this one is, about 175 liter. Holds four bags of corn seed, no problem. So you probably want one or two of these bins and one or two for grass seed as well too because it's nice to have a bit of spare grass seed around and it keeps it away from the mice and the rats. So again, these bins are available and um, yeah, pick them up and then uh, make sure you keep your, fo your uh, corn seed on the farm this year. We really can't take it back um, and it's mainly because of hassle. We don't want to transmit diseases from farm to farm.